This is car number 107. We're at the Mayo Crossing. We've had a car accident out here and we need an ambulance. And you better notify the coroner. One of the young passengers is dead. 1047, we'll have an ambulance en route. Also radio in the identities as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. We'll do, we'll do 10-4. One of my kids went on a picnic in that area today. Could have been anybody. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this police department needs an ambulance at the Mayhill Crossing. There's been a bad accident. It could be anyone. A son or daughter, a brother or sister, a friend. It could be anyone you know, or you could help make sure it isn't. This is a reenactment of thousands of real situations that occur every year. The people in this group are friends. None would like to see any of the others seriously injured. It's a typical, paradoxical situation. Nobody wants to be responsible for the injury or death of another, yet nobody really wants to take the responsibility of preventing it. Many of them would if they knew an accident was going to happen. All of them would, in fact. But the greatest paradox of safety is that a prevented accident is one that does not occur. A person who prevents an accident from occurring will never receive credit for the lives saved. You know, I think we should have somebody volunteering out to drink so that they could drive. Well, I... The more successful one has been in preventing an accident, the less likely one is to receive praise. Well, I remember last time, you made a great big deal about it. Nothing happened. That is not easy to take. So somebody in this situation is going to need a lot of guts. It may be someone who knows the facts. Certain effects of alcohol in the human bloodstream are neither social nor moral judgments. They are simply tested and proven facts, often contrary to popular misconceptions. Listen and see if you know fact from fiction. Man, you need some exercise to get that alcohol out of your system. Exercise, that is not true. About 90% of consumed alcohol is oxidized in the liver. The time it takes varies by individual, but exercise does not speed up the liver oxidation process. Here, drink some black coffee. It'll sober you up. Untrue. Time, and only time, will eliminate the effects of intoxication. I just sip this drink and make it last. I'll eat something with it so it won't hit me so hard. True within reason because the food may dilute the alcohol a bit, and by letting one drink substitute for several, he will have less alcohol in his system. 
No, I was too far gone to drive a while ago, but I feel better now. I'm all right. A common misjudgment. He is comparing his present condition to his worst condition, yeah, yeah. not to his normal condition. Self-criticism. The ability to judge one's own condition is one of the first things alcohol depresses. The problem situations about to develop are not easy to deal with. We have no simple answers to give you. They might have been prevented by planning ahead, but this group did not do that. We will not know how these situations end. No one ever knows that at the time decisions must be made. But if you were in any of these situations, if your friends were involved, try to determine what could you have done beforehand? What could you do now? She's a little high. Oh, come on. I'm going to sit in back. They want my music. On, yeah, wait a minute. What's the matter, little brother? You jealous? No, it's not that. Oh, come if the on. girls don't worry about it, why should I? Come on, slowpoke. Hurry up. Here, We've been this. waiting on you. Okay, let's go. Yeah? I'm a Hold on, Dad. Come on. Let's go, bud. Give it up. Wow. <laughs> Forget it. Try oh, a different way. Okay. Okay. Go back. Go back. John, don't be a jerk. Come on. Come on. Need a ride? Oh, Mr. Johnson, thank you. I live clear across town. Get in. Hi, my name's Amy. We're going this way to pick up the interstate. We've met before, have we? Well, I recognize you. My mother shops at your store quite a bit. Oh, good for her. Mr. Johnson, I'm sorry. I thought you were going to hit that car. Hmm? Kids and I are going to go see their grandmother. Grandma. Right, what? kiddos? How far does she live? Oh, three or four hours. Aren't you afraid they might arrest you with this in the car? What, this? Oh, don't, don't worry about this. It's a long, dull drive, and after I've had a few, I am extra careful. Mr. Johnson, you just went through a red light. Hey, you gonna start telling an old hand how to drive? Because if you are, I'll let you out right here. It's a long trip, and we haven't got any time to waste. Well, what do you want to do?
Come on, Linda, let's go. Are you sure you can drive? Are you kidding? Of course I can drive. Have you seen my keys anywhere? I think you left them over by that post over there. So long, Linda. You're going to be the last ones out here. Dan. I'll see you at school Monday. I got to be at work in less than an hour. I'll be fired. Dan. Hmm? I can't drive, and I'm supposed to ride home with Bill, and he's too drunk to do anything. Well, I know three other girls that will volunteer. I know, but... Well, Joanne can't drive a car at the stick shift, and Bill can't handle my motorcycle, and I can't leave it out here to be stolen. You have to go in the other direction anyway. On, Are you going to be late for work? Yeah, well, hey. You make him take it easy. <laughs> hey, Dan. Later, See you man. later. They're in my pocket the whole time. Get in. That looks like a house key to me. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I should have learned how to drive. Don't worry about it. I'll give you lessons on the way into town. What is it, 15 miles? I'll bet you I can make it in 14 minutes. Don't try. Everybody's gone. We'll catch them. Please, don't. What's wrong? Don't you trust me? Don't you think I can drive? I don't even have enough for bus fare. Bus? Bus, you know no bus comes out here. There's no bus, there's no phone, nothing. That's it. Now make up your mind. What are you going to do, come with me or not? If it were you in any of these four situations, what might you have done? What could you do? Duty. We've got one DOA and two patients that look like they may need surgery. <laughs> 